Best time, yeah? Yeah, yeah. that was the first time under 22, so I was really happy with that. Um, 0.01 drop. Yeah. So I know I've been used to 0.9 drops, the second right. drop, so 0.01. I'm just yeah. kidding. Uh, I'm still happy to drop time. You had a great start. Can you talk about that? Uh, yeah. Um, so I, I like to pride myself on my starts. I think I can get out to 15 just as fast as anybody. Um, and then just from there, just have clean water, and everyone else has got to go like more turbulent water to catch up to you. So it just gives me that slight advantage right from the get-go. Did you know you were... You had that little bit of a lead after that? Um, I like to put on the blinders in the 50 because the eyes can be misleading because you can see whitewash at the corner of your eyes and be like, and think that their head is their hands. And you're like, oh man, we're right neck and neck, but you got a half body length lead. So I try not to watch any of that. Gotcha. Do you take a breath? No, no breath. So how does that make you feel when you finish? Um, honestly, well, it depends on how you finish. Yeah. If you finish first, you could you could get up and go on the blocks and do that 50 again because yeah. you're so jacked up. But if it's a bad 50, then you really start to feel it. Uh, but no, no breath for me is we've trained that, so no breath for me in a 50 free is not all that exert. You said that the hundreds Just, just the desire to be fast, the desire to be number one and be on top. Uh, just always wanted to be better, uh, to be one of the top sprinters, trying to write my name in the history book. Can you assess your meet overall now? I mean, uh, yeah. So I, I mean, had a great, had a great meet overall. So much better than last year. Um, I'll remember. I'll probably never forget. After last year's meet, I was sitting at In and Out Burgers with um, one of my coaches from NC State. And I was just like, just feeling so sad, feel so down. And my coach was just trying to talk to me and trying to cheer me up. And I was like, man, never want to do that again. Never want to feel in this position again. And uh, we, my coach and I, uh, Dan uh, from NC State, we were just talking about that again. Like how it's totally 180 this year and just so much different, so much better. You can go back to In-N-Out Burger now to yeah. celebrate this time? Oh, yeah. yeah. It works for all emotions, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I moved from NC State to Indiana on Valentine's Day, and then I was in Indiana for two months, um, going to, with Coley Stickers there. And then Coley Stickers took the head coaching job at Alabama. So then two months after Indiana, I moved down to Tuscaloosa. So I've been in Tuscaloosa for about three months now, since May 15th. How have you been able to balance all that moving around? Well, honestly, it was not easy. It was actually it was actually pretty sucky and hard at times um, because I just left everything that I was comfortable with at NC State, my friends, the city, to Bloomington, Indiana. Where at first we we definitely had some like a little we were a little gritty because we we still viewed each other as like rivals, not really as as friends. So it was like. I, get, I slowly had to work my way into the social circles, but then once I got into the social circles, the guys were great. But it just seemed right as about that time I had to leave to Alabama. So, but the Alabama guys are great. They're really receptive to having appropriate there.